<laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, the man who has been repeatedly accused of giving love a bad name. <laughs> it's Jack Diamond well, and the Cavalcade of Comedy. I do what little I can, yeah. and that generally is the problem. All right, let's start with uh, President Obama in Buffalo yesterday uh, stopping to pick up some buffalo wings. Right. Oh, this is great. Next week, the president is going to France for French fries. So, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Uh, so a group of um, exotic dancers mm -hmm. uh, competed in a Sarah Palin lookalike contest at a Chicago <laughs> Gentleman's Club this week. <laughs> and you thought one of her campaign rallies had a lot of guys shouting, drill, baby, drill. All right? <laughs> <laughs> so Sarah Palin, God bless her, she's prolific, has another book coming out in November, which means she's written more books than she's read. <laughs> this, this, That's is, Katie Kirk. this is impressive. A 98-year-old Kansas uh, woman is going to receive a master's degree from Fort Hayes State University in Kansas, North. 98 wow. years old. Awesome. Uh, the good news is she'll uh, have her student loan paid off in about 20 years. So. <laughs> God bless her. Who has that kind of energy? Uh, and I'm half her age and I don't. Uh, in Copenhagen, they've installed love seats on city buses to encourage riders to flirt with each other. Oh. Wow. What better way to impress a member of the opposite sex than to show them you can't afford a car? <laughs> Would you like to come out with me? We'll uh, take the bus. <laughs> and finally, scientists say that 20% of the world's lizard species could be extinct by the year 2080. They say it'll make it nearly impossible to get car insurance. <laughs> 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 Hi, there's your Cavalcado comedy.